Coming to you straight from the Rio Grande and beyond and beyond broadcasting to the four corners of the globe so grab your seat your coffee or your sundowner okay everybody here we go on point as always this is gloves off gloves off back at you gloves off from professor buitron and today we have a great guest a hero of the radio we can say that because he's bringing back boxing and putting boxing back in the lane and in the, uh, the name in the forefront of Laredo, and also he's putting Laredo on the map again. And uh, we've always had great boxers, and today we have the pleasure of talking with Jorge Casaneda. How are we doing, Jorge? I'm doing good. Thank you for having you're good. Me. No, no thank, thank you for doing what you do. Yes, sir. And I know it's very hard. Yes, sir. To step in the ring, it's very hard. Very few do it. Yes, sir. And um, let's touch base. How was how was this experience? How was how are you traveling over and, and fighting? Tell me how everything came over. Well, it was a very you know exciting experience. Man. First time uh, traveling across the east to fight. I mean, it's an unforgettable moment for me. Uh, and I was very happy. Uh, I got to fight um, the offer, and you know I couldn't say no. You know, I said yes to the, to the offer, and then, uh, the whole just being there and you know around uh, amazing fighters around Eddie Hearn. I mean just motivation to keep on training harder and you know to get a more exciting fight like, like those absolutely yes sir how how were you who who approached you and said you know what we have this fight coming at you what what happened there? uh the matchmaker from eddie hearn they were amazed with my last performance in matchroom boxing so i mean they offered the fight to me they wanted an exciting fight an exciting fighter to fight over there in london and i got the call so I'm really grateful for, for that opportunity. Um, what was, you know, you said they catched you, and I've seen you fight, but let's, let's talk to the folks out there. What separates you from others? I know you're very, very, very talented. Not only that, you're a very tenacious boxer. And um, what got caught their eye? Who I said, you know, he's the one we're looking at. Well, I, I mean, I've been doing this since I was eight years old. I mean, I've practiced this sport for, for lots of years already. And, you know, I try to always uh, be better than I was yesterday. So sure. I try to, you know, I, I can do it all in the ring. Um, I can box, I can bra, I can, I can do it, everything. But what, they, what caught their eye was that I, I'm more of a brawler. I bring the fight. I I'm an action uh, fighter, so a pressured fighter. So they like the that's what the, what the kind of fights they like. I mean, pressure fights, action fights, and you know that's what that's what they wanted over there. Absolutely. And who was your opponent? And you won a title. Which title was it that you won? Explain everything that's going on. So I fought uh, Yusef Kumar. He was an undefeated fighter from over there from London. He was 13 and 0. And we fought for the WBC International Silver title. And, you know, it was a tough fight. He was undefeated. He, he didn't want to lose his own. So, I mean, it was a really, really tough uh, fight. But, I mean, thankfully, for um, we worked really hard in the gym uh, two months in, in camp in Mexico City. So, I mean, we were, we were well prepared for, for this fight. Absolutely. What, what did you change differently? What was your outcome? What did you see? Because everybody studies. Yes, sir. And uh, what did you see? I'm pretty sure you all saw his fight. So, what did you see of him that you said, you know what, I'm I can better than that? Um, the power, man. The, it was a, the difference of power. Every time that I with him, I, I would hurt him, and you know, that's what what it really made the difference. And also the body shots. I started working the body early in the rounds, and that that started uh, slowing him down um, when the fight progressed. So, I mean, that that really helped me a lot. Absolutely, and uh, you know, you've always been coming up, and um, what what's, and you've always been fighting. You've always been there to fight. In other words, you've been ready for those that say, you know, you're going to fight now. Yes, I am. Here I am. When's your next one, or do you have one plan, or what's your next step, or is it up to the coach? You're going to kind of rest. I'll be planning on, on fighting one more time before the year ends, probably okay. December, early December. Um, but I mean, we're going to talk to to the company. This, uh, this coming week, so to see what they have in store for me. But I'm gonna stay ready. I'm gonna, I mean, I have the title now, and the fights are gonna be tougher each time that I step into the ring. So I gotta stay disciplined, I gotta stay ready 
for whenever they call me. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm ready already. Absolutely, absolutely. Who, which fighters do you see names pop up that you say, you know what, more likely I'm going to end up getting this fighter, with, I'm more likely I'm going to be placed with this one. Who do you think, who do you see? I see myself fighting Oscar Aldez in the, in the, in the near future. Who? Cool. Oscar Aldez, world champion in my division. I mean, he's a Mexican warrior, man. He's a, he's a really tough guy. But I mean, that's what motivates me to fight him. I mean, he's, he's tough and a very durable guy. But I mean, I know that I have the, the skills to, to fight him. And, you know, hopefully in the near future, like I say, um, I can get that fight. And the, and that fight will be for a championship belt. Yes, he's a, he's a world champion in my 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 division. He has a WBC world champion. So I mean, it's a I mean, it's motivation. Like I said, for me to keep on training harder to get those those big fights. Absolutely, that's a dream yeah. of, of every boxer. I mean, getting a world title. Absolutely, and you need to do that. And uh, believe me, I think there's a lot of people here in Laredo and not only in Laredo around that think that you can take it. So, you know, the best with you, the best of luck, Godspeed, God bless you, and, and your trainers as well, because Gomez Brothers have been doing such a great job, and uh, my hat's off to them. Much respect with, with your all's gym, you know, because, not only because of boxing, but because of the boxers that they're putting out and the type of people that they are, they're good, good, uh, good citizens in society, and that's what's most most important, yes, you know. And um, um, big hug to them when you see them the next time. And also, you know, um, if you fight this fight, if this comes out, what would you like to have it? Would you like to have it in the states? Probably it's going to be somewhere else. But what would you like to have it in the states or Mexico? Uh, here in the states, yeah. So my family can travel and see me, <laughs> and also all my friends and. You know, but I mean, wherever it, it, it's made, I mean, I really, really don't care. Just want to fight and get those big, big, exciting fights. Uh, here's a question: uh, You all have, you know, when you when you get a good fighter inside, when you get the fighter in the stable, and he's coming on up, it, it generates other people say, you know what, I want to, I'm going to work out in this gym. It's happened. I've seen it. I've, I've been there, and I've seen seen it. You and when we're coming up, you're looking up, and that's where you want to be. You know, in France, that's where you want to do partake right and uh, how does it feel what do you tell the youngsters because you're near their idol mm -hmm. what do you tell them uh, to keep you know chase your dreams everything's possible if you believe in yourself chase your dreams work hard and you know don't let anybody tell you that it's not possible I mean as long as you, as long as you believe in yourself everything is possible and you know just chase your dreams and work hard and be disciplined absolutely yeah, absolutely. And uh, you're going to, uh, here's another question, are you going to maintain yourself at the same weight category and keep on going or? As of right now, yes. I really don't want uh, to have trouble making making weight. Uh, but I mean, we'll see. Uh, I'm really tough for my weight class, so, you know, maybe I can go up a few weight classes. So, but we'll see. As of right now, I'm, I'm, I feel good in my weight. And that weight is? Yeah, it's 130. Super featherweight. Super featherweight, sure. Super featherweight. Yeah, really, really tough for my, my weight class. Really lengthy. <laughs> um, out of the boxers, which ones were the boxers that you idolized when you were coming up? Uh, my favorite fighter is Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Absolutely. The Mexican champion, I mean. Absolutely. In my eyes, he's, a, he's I mean, the best. Very durable, hard hitting, you know, those hooks to the body. <laughs> Everything, Absolutely. I mean, he was, he was a complete fighter. And from them, after that? Uh, Manuel Marquez. He's a very technical Mexican fighter and also very strong, very intelligent. So try to learn from from, from those uh, legends, those champions. Would, would you consider your way of fighting a little bit more towards the Mexican side of, of things or uh, more American? Yes. Or, yes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, I, I, like, I like to bra, so like Mexican style. <laughs> of course. And, you know, we have we have plenty of that. We've had, you know, Loret. Laredo is, is a place that has had, you know, four world champions, you know, one that's it's in question, but he's there, which is uh, Johnny Wong uh, back in the 60s, but you, uh, before before him you had uh, the Battling Shaw, mm, at, the Calisa, the, at the Cali Salas brothers, yeah, and then you have, of course, uh, Ferrero, and um, Battling Shaw was the one that produced the gancho, you know, and oh, okay, then yeah. Kira Azteca, uh, 
took it and you know what I'm saying yeah, so yeah. and then uh, and uh, so from there so we have something proud to be with and how do you know this we talk to the old guys and they tell you you know and uh, but he was a policeman here but oh. it's it's uh, I'm about battling the battling Shaw and then of course the Kenny Silas and and hopefully in the near future we want to yes, see your sir. name in there as That's well. That's the plan, yes sir. And um, we'll do it, right? Yes sir. <laughs> now, um, Laredo has, has become a fan of you. Everybody in Laredo, tell something out there for the guys out there. No, I'm really grateful for, for all these support that they've shown me. I mean, I saw this, when I was over there, I would see the messages and you know, that was motivation. I mean, you know, I couldn't come back to Laredo without the belt, so had to fight, fight hard and, and bring him back to belt. I mean, but I'm, I'm really, really grateful for, for all the support they have shown me, all the, all the support they have given me, all my sponsors, all my family. I mean, they've always supported me. And, you know, like I said, it's just motivation me and to keep on training harder because I know, you know, I, I, I got a win for them. Absolutely. I represent. Absolutely. And behind you, and Laredo's behind you 100%. Yes, sir, no. The citizens, the community, everybody here has as you in the name, and uh, let's continue making it that way. Because yes, we have to, we have to support those that put a name of Laredo, and that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. And um, we're we have running out of time, but thank you for doing what you do. Oh, thank you. And folks out there, I'm going to leave you with this: stay safe, be safe, and let's live life. Let's uh, live life without fear. Right? Yes, sir. Till next time. Much peace.